Yo, what's going on? Someone that's no one here, and welcome back to another installment. Kind of a fresh installment, kind of a follow up installment. Something I've been talking about for quite some time in this, uh, yeah, I guess this series and uh, other series as well. And that is the House Cannabis with Kratom Extract, specifically. Uh, I wanted to do a face cam for this, boys. I really did want to do a face cam for this. Uh, and ladies, of course. But, fucking hoes. <laughs> we got hoes outside. I think it's just maintenance working on shit next door. Uh, literally, like, right outside from uh, where I record and shit. So, uh, we're just going to settle for the uh, the, the mic. Uh, some OG shit. We started off this series with this. Uh, we've been doing it like this forever. So, uh, hey, this, this ain't nothing new, but I did kind of want to show off, you know, get them facial expressions in and get a little bit of show off what I'm actually consuming here, but uh, we'll just settle for this video. Uh, depending on what happens, I might come in later on in this video because I haven't dosed yet. We're gonna have to wait an hour and whatnot, uh, before this actually kicks in and before we start anything, at least before we... Uh, immense with the smoke but let's just get this uh, i guess set up and introduced so i got these fucking gummies let's go uh if you remember you might have tuned in first time trying kratom extract i did a uh kratom shot uh, uh, fucking so that shit was gross i uh, hated the taste on that it was just like Bruh, uh, it's just like all the bad parts of Kratom, I felt like, just concentrated into some bullshit. Potent, you know, potent. I didn't fucking drink it all because of that. I wouldn't, fucking, I got hiccups. <laughs> I wouldn't want to, uh, drink all a full thing of that either. And dosing those also, uh, that thing was like equivalent, I want to say eight or nine grams. I'm not fucking drinking eight or nine grams of cool and see that's gonna fucking smack i'm probably gonna fucking puke uh yeah so uh fuck that i didn't really want to measure it out like that either i mean i guess that's a more proper way actually getting a measuring cup and actually dosing it out like that but uh just uh, uh, for convenience we uh just sift i want to say like a quarter or like a third so we got a a good feel for a light dose, I feel like. So we're going to really change the game. We're going to have three videos for this uh, Kratom review with how's it, how it is with cannabis. We're also going to have a little installment with uh, let's dive into Kratom. And these extracts are, are going to be talked about. But because uh, we did that light dose, I feel like I don't want to do a strong dose. But I want to do a somewhat strong dose. Now these extracts somewhat are difficult on the conversions at times uh depending on you know where it's sourced from and what percentage of uh the metragenine is actually extracted and also you know the type of kratom it is extracted from could also be playing a role in the potency so getting an exact equivalent dose on each of these uh Kratom extracts is going to be very, uh, it's not going to be, you know, 100%, but we're going to have an estimated range. So today's, today's estimated fucking range will be one to two grams uh, per gummy, and we're going to take three of these. So three to six grams. So that's, it opens the door quite a bit, three to six grams. You know, three grams, I'm chilling, six grams is a different story, isn't it? Uh, let's just hope it's a uh, 4.5, I guess. So I have not opened these yet. I do not what do not know what they're gonna be like. But the flavor is blue, blue razzle. Hopefully they're good actually. And I guess they're gummy. So if they're not good, it's just like won't be as bad as uh, the liquid. But hey, without further ado. Let's get into this extract. See what's good. All 
Alright. <laughs> Fucking. First initial thoughts. One gummy. And the taste. Not the worst tasting ever. Not as bad as the liquid. But it's like a. Uh, <laughs> If you got it like a gummy and you try to like make it like kind of like diarrhea flavored mixed with your like fruit flavor it's kind of what we got kind of what we got going here let's get the next one again it doesn't have me going like or anything like that so and this just reminds me of some like really like bad candy i had maybe as a kid that i can't remember for the life of me or some like just like terrible old people candy or like fucking cough drops like trying to like take cough drops thinking they're fucking candy or some shit all right let's see if this last one it's it's not the worst but it's just like yeah these these fucking candies are gross bro like i'm not fucking with these candies like that but can still eat them can still eat them i guess you can tell really really though that they tried to mask it i feel like they did an all right job but i don't know i feel like i'm gonna see a trend with this guys let me know if you guys see this trend uh, as well it's probably gonna be gross for the most part with uh just more so this attempt at masking in the background all right let's get this third And, uh, ooh. it's stuck in my fucking teeth. No good. And just for the, for fuck it's sake, <laughs> just for why not, we're going to take a, a pamphlet before we uh, transition. We have a live rosin infused pen. So some gas of the uh <coughs> strain of spree uh tastes like bottle cap <coughs> <coughs> you guys have been <coughs> <coughs> <fuck. coughs> <coughs> <coughs> if you ever had bottle caps as a kid i don't know if they still make them or not they're these candies and literally like they're shaped like bottle caps and they taste like they're uh flavored after sodas i only remember uh root beer and grape grape flavored there might be fucking i think there's also a cherry i remember too but beyond that maybe an orange i don't know it's coming back to me but uh yeah maybe maybe an orange i could be wrong about that but that's how this car tastes pretty much like it's pretty spot on with the the flavor there so some nice stuff uh we're gonna have a, a joint though for the uh the sesh and we're also going to do some of the tests for this video. I don't have that set up exactly yet, but one of the one thing I do want to know is the workout test. That is probably one of the first things that I'm going to start off with. A little sloppy with the commentary, but it, it, it's cool. Just jumping into this, really. Yeah. Uh, actually, before this, I was doing a leg workout cut off halfway because uh i want to i gotta eat actually we're gonna finish up the other half and decided we'll do it you know coming into this and seeing how it is and we're gonna see how this hits we're gonna see if it's like the perkies hopefully i don't get sick but that taste factor i feel like is a big thing right now also i do have some food in my stomach i feel like that should also probably help so we'll just see how this goes What's good, what's good, what's good? We back. <laughs> what's fucking popping? We outside. Well, I guess this is fresh because we haven't done this yet. Uh, we're going to be able to sit, I guess, for a little minute. It's dark as hell. Fucking the lighting. No. Uh, it's uh, anyone's fault. I guess it's mine for not starting the video earlier but then we would have ran into little disruptions you know like little disruptions but uh 
It's been an hour, boys. A little bit over, uh, like an hour, three, four minutes. And, uh, didn't finish my workout quite, which is alright, because we still need to smoke and have the exercise physical activity tested in that regard. But, uh, just did some working on my Nordics. Going pretty good. Uh, girlfriend just got here, helped bring in some groceries, all that shit, you already know. Taking care of some things, setting up uh, what we're doing here. We're gonna be adding new, two new tests. It's gonna be something. But, uh, in terms of how I actually feel, yeah, we took those gummies. You put, the gummies, you guys are probably wondering, like, alright, you, you feeling smacked, bro? <laughs> I wouldn't say smacked. But I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm definitely feeling different than I was before. Definitely a little more chilled out. Uh, and I feel like partially the reason is uh, I just kind of wanted to do this whole thing outside. And we opened up with that uh, on the mic. That's all right. Again, we haven't done that in a while. I feel like with this format, at least, uh, I feel like on the mic, I've really been just doing uh, more so Rin stuff and just uh, more like the specific in-depth uh content but i'm feeling pretty good i wouldn't say like as strong as i expected to be like absolutely fucking smacked like that but then again like six grams it's not gonna absolutely fucking smack me like that and then again it could be on the lower end too maybe it's more like three grams and i'm kind of basing it off uh, some of the research i've done personally but also you know what uh the actual product, the actual people who sold this and made this stuff, what they actually said. And sorry if my uh, shit gets in the way, finger, uh, anything like that. We'll probably step into the light here in a second. Uh, I think I said in the last video we broke the fucking tripod. Basically, my phone's too fucking fat, uh, with the case at least. So, uh, I just gotta find a little case thing to attach onto the tripod but for the meantime it's old school shit i mean people do this all the time right but uh we will want to set i, I may put on the bro broken tripod because of these new tests but either way we got a lot to talk about what sparked this you're wondering hey it's been a minute since you had a, a sesh with the the bud i feel like just straight up and just like chief and like that so this should be pretty nice uh to I to match and go with this this uh blueberry raz uh flavored gummy kratom we got uh it's from blue kratom right now <laughs> wonder what a blue kratom would be like it doesn't exist but uh we got blueberry muffin first time i ever got this strain uh so far i've been liking it especially i got it specifically because of the taste i thought you know blueberry sounds really good. i've had the blueberry strain uh i don't know exactly the cross of this but i i assume it's blueberry or something maybe fucking muffin <laughs> sometimes it's simple like that man sometimes you know it's a little you know oh like uh, it's this cross like i don't know gelato and it's probably not gelato but uh maybe blueberry ice cream or something i don't know but uh it could be something like that because of this, this, and that. But, anyways, enough rambling. You can see it has me talking a little bit different. We're gonna spark this and see how this adds to the mix, and because that's what we're here, what we're here to explore the combination. Let's get it. So, without further ado, let's spark up. And yeah, I want to step into this light. Here, we'll spark first. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, bubbly. Alright. <coughs> this is a nice chill ass spot, man. Kinda got that urbanness to it with the brick. I like it. First hits. Impression. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see. Then my, my face says it. <laughs> I 
um, smacking in a way, but not like, I don't know how to describe it exactly. Because, like, it's still maybe coming on to this kratom. So, uh, kind of zoned in the spaced out type of vibe. That's why I'm like, <laughs> I'll fuck with some DMB. DMB for like. <laughs> Alright, but uh. I don't know, let's just talk about some shit that's been going on during this session. I guess what's coming up too. So it's been, uh. I don't want to say a rough patch. It's something like that, I guess. But it's not, like, anything too heavy, I feel like. It's really just time-consuming more so than, uh... Than, like, a heavy hardship. It's, uh, just doing... I mean, not saying things have been easy as fuck or anything. If they were, I'd, I'd be up on, you know... I, I said two every two three days something ideally if they were easy so and everything's going right then you already know that's how I'm up on if I'm not up on like that it means I'm probably working on some shit I gotta make a little sacrifice here and there and you know balance everything out in this this regard it's just figuring this life shit out in ways you know and what's gonna work for me cause me man that's the fucking most difficult part. Fucking me. I feel like most people. Then again, you know. I mean, that's narcissistic. You know, a lot of people can do some of the things I find difficult with ease. And a lot of that can come down to socialization in certain regards. Especially when I get exposed to a bit. Exposed to it too heavily. Or not so much too heavily. But too heavily in the way that it's too much. And Loki, these holidays. What the holidays? I'm normally like, well, let's go Christmas, New Year's, we turn up. And I, I kind of still have them vibes, but it's just kind of at the same time, I know. This stuff is just like, I gotta focus on me. I wanna, things aren't going right now like that. Like, I'm not up on like that. I'm not. I guess it really up one's the main thing. Uh, there's other certain things like just managing my time right and making sure I'm not like having to de-stress more because of some bullshit, any lack of, you know, focus. And then, you know, that can affect my girlfriend in ways and it can just cause this bad cycle of bullshit, basically. <sighs> she got real out of nowhere, huh? I don't want to get too specific with it. I kind of want this fucking white on my eyes more, but... It's not that bad. <coughs> Does it feel like the Perk 30 again? No. <coughs> I guess it feels more like the Hydro fucking 20 or 15. Uh, to be honest. Compared to... Because I didn't even do that much with that one extra... But, uh, again, it's still maybe coming on. I still do have that, that hazy kind of, like, mental state, though, uh, comparably. It's not that body, it's that mental, really. That's what I see with, with these, uh, Kratom extracts so far. Which also may be a good thing, and also what would make sense, I guess, for, uh, why some of these guys are dosing their shit, like, Oh, this is equal to this one shot nine grams. Maybe because the nausea ain't bad. I don't know. Is it bad like that? I hear people, you know, some people just, uh, I hear some bad things, you know. I've seen some bad things, that's all. Then again, I've had clear for a long time. I don't know, maybe. I just got a natural, like, you know, I'm naturally acquitted for it. That could also be a... Maybe I just haven't gotten that strong of a dose like that. And, like... For the last time we did it, I feel like... 
really, if anything, it was just more of an ick than, like, I'm actually nauseous or anything like that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, who the fuck the music I choose in the background go? If I choose music, sometimes... I don't know, it's just like, we got that, the background noise, the cars over there too, kind of adds to the just the setting and shit, so, it's night time, I don't, you know, we don't got the crickets no more, Cricket Gang used to be on, on 10 out here, huh, uh, before everything got cold, it's January, Happy New Year, by the way, I hope you had a good holiday, and, uh, Merry, Merry Late Christmas, of course, hope you guys had good holidays and shit. Uh, I was talking about it, it was solid like my holidays weren't bad or anything like that it was very like respectable and nice actually and just kind of like chill like I wasn't trying to go too hard I did do some X on the New Year's which uh <laughs> fucking bullshit bro <laughs> oh, oh shit uh, my dumbass so we did it after uh, work day, because so we had to work New Year's Eve and shit. A loud ass drug. And, uh, just because of everything going on, I didn't even talk about my fucking work, bro. That's also a reason why I'm not in flow right now, but. Fucking. Yeah, after work, we decided, uh, yeah, we'll do it afterwards. You know, it's New Year's Eve. You know, you want to turn up on that night, whatever. Right? It's kind of what we've been doing and shit, you know, it's, not everyone does it, but a, a lot of people do it, right, my dumb ass thinks, oh, dude, I can smash, I was just fucking hungry, bro, end of the day, I was hungry, bro, I smash a fucking sandwich, smash fucking six pieces of pizza, take an, an hour, hour and a half nap, oh, let's pot this shit, like, I didn't eat shit, you already know, <laughs> 30 40 minutes in <laughs> run into the toilet bro <laughs> and like see when you yak off the um it's it's really not that bad i feel like sometimes it can be i guess uh depending on i guess how much you took but especially when you do it early like that you're gonna yak most of it up right this light, I want this light on my eyes, bro. Just finding that right angle, see? You don't want the shadow right there, no, neither. But, like, yeah, that happened, and I still had a decent ass roll and shit, but it's just like, I wasn't bussing. No, it's not bussing. It was a nice roll. It's a nice time. But we were not busting. It was still okay. I had, had some K with it to level things out. And, and you know, uh, still all right. But, again, not busting. So I wanted, was thinking, I got to do some acid here soon. I had a shroom shroom not too long ago, too. Like two and a half weeks ago, I want to say. Something like that. It might actually be a tech, but it's fucking cold. I need some gloves, bro. Holding this camera right now. It's cold, bro. Well, it's below freezing now, but I've still been running and shit. But, uh, yeah, we had that shroom trip. It was, it was solid. Uh, more so giving me what I need and whatnot. And I feel like the focus, and I feel like some acid would smooth things out in a way, which... That's also the thing now when we talk about this, it's just scheduling everything and making everything fit. Fucking bullshit at my job, bro. It's not right. I guess I'm destined to just work more hours right now. Uh, it's mandated overtime and shit. So I've really just been busy ever since November, really. So, I mean, that's kind of like all that you see once a week or whatever. Yeah. And just this week, like, you know, it's extra 20 hours, you know, extra two days, like, 
Like, bruh. Bruh. I'm not fucking with this shit. But it's a work in progress. And I know I shouldn't leave this opportunity I'm at right now. Because realistically, I won't get paid nowhere like I am uh, like I am now. So I know it's, and I got a plan for uh, acquiring another job. We're going to do a little, probably a couple years of schooling, short-term short term stuff so we can get into just something better and more expandable so, so I can uh, have the option to move somewhere. I don't want to stay in this state, boys, just to be honest. So that's just kind of some real life shit I've been, I guess, dealing with or on my mind, putting up with. And also because of that, it's like what I brought up earlier, it's that burnout stuff with the socialization that don't help. It don't help, bro. It really does not. So that's why I also need to see a therapist, see about making some some possible accommodations. It's really just this self-care uh, hustle, but also making it happen is also a hustle in itself. It's not, I just can't wish, or just like a snap of my fingers, bro, it's get, gonna get set up, it takes work. And like, doing it the right way is also what's of, of extreme importance in this. And what's also difficult, you know, not every which way is the right way for every which person. You know, everything. People are specific and have different needs and whatnot. So it's very. Uh, it seems like a headache almost, bro. <laughs> I guess it is at times. Like, goddamn. Like, fucking. At times, it's like you wish, you know. What if I was just that simple, Joe? <laughs> I just have one interest, I guess, and, and shit don't work like this, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't. But we just got to stay at it, stay consistent, and just keep the heads up, you know, like, keep hustling, stay focused, and the meditation is where it's at. And also just partially, you know, I won't get into this, it's dealing with things in my relationship, too, at the same time. Um, just figuring specific, specific shit out that I won't get into, okay? What, what's what's the, the fucking vibes of this? Yeah, this one's burning, boys. This one's burning. It's burning tonight. Yeah, speaking of which... Gotta go win tomorrow, fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's just like, I make enough, bro. Stop giving me more hours. That's my problem. Like, I need more balance, bro. But uh, we've been running. We've been working out, like I've been saying. Doing that leg workout. We did not finish the leg workout, actually, because I started it late. Uh, like I said, did the Nordic, so we're going to continue on with the leg workout probably right after this and report back with it. And we'll probably have the food test right with, right with that. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I know for the... Uh... God damn, we need gloves. Um... I know for at least the... Uh... These two new ones, this coordination test and this uh, puzzle test. Most likely we will, we will uh, record those uh, on the spot. Because uh, I got this little stick thing I found that we're going to try for the coordination. Then we got, uh, we can actually hop on a uh, website, do a little puzzle real quick. So that would be cool. That would be cool. Be cool. But, yeah. So with all this, I'm hoping actually because, you know, things are should be slowing down. We just got done with Christmas and stuff last week, so we'll see. But I mean, we're getting you know, almost two weeks after Christmas now. But because they say it's really only like this 
around this time of year. I mean, if you you work a fucking holiday dependent job like that, I mean, most jobs do because most customers, yeah, you know, demand goes up. All these goddamn gifts, <laughs> all this shit. You already know. <coughs> It just generally gets busier for most people. Uh, personally, though, for me, this has been the most demanding job in terms of the holidays I've ever had. I've never actually had... I don't think I've ever had a mandate before this. just feel like it turned up a little notch, bro. This little kratom. It's like... Hit a little harder for a second. Could be the smoke synergy going on with it. I don't know. I don't know. Makes me want to sit down, actually. We gotta sit down for a second, boys. Fuck. <laughs> and we need a little jacket. Fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, my hands, bro. My fucking hands. Whew, that feels better. Yeah, that might... I think it just hit in a little harder, to be honest, right now. Just because I just felt like... I don't know, just like... Not my stomach specifically, but just like all around, just kind of just this energy. And like, yeah, like I feel like, yeah, that's some Kratom smacking right now, bro. And I think also the weed's bringing it in more, too. So, yeah, I was just fucking saying, like, this ain't shit, bro. I hope we don't come on too hard to where I'm like, fucking get sick. But we'll take a few more hits of this. I probably won't finish all of it. I wrote a fat ass one here. Probably like a 1.5. And we'll get these tests going and seeing what's good on these. <coughs> Oh my god. Yeah, it's very comparable to like a strong dose of like lean. Like, uh, I guess a steady normal dose of how hydros would be. Uh, probably hydros hit a little harder. But that's because I feel like the body. But I feel like there is a bit more body on this right now compared to. What I did before the first time trying, but that could also be because I'm smoking this. So this is, you know, that combo speaking. So, could be up to 6 grams equivalency. 6 grams, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, we definitely need them gloves. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, you can see how I feel like my voice even is just kind of more like that relaxed phase. It could be this cold is too far. I'm fucking dead. different vibes in this video. <coughs> wow. Stoned as fuck right now. <coughs> More slowed down than we I feel like we we're opened up kind of fast and kind of like, I don't know. There yeah, a little, a little stumbly there, but now it's just like, holy fuck. Not in that, like, actual holy fuck way, but like, oh wow. Like, this, uh, this is these. Uh, smoke yourself. I don't think there will be nausea like that. Hopefully, we'll see uh, how physical activity goes. Hopefully, we have uh, because I want to get through this. Uh, the rest of this leg workout like that. I just need it for it's mainly mobility. Uh, purpose for this one. Doing some certain movements and working some more specific smaller uh, muscle groups, but.
just it's much love to everybody out there i appreciate everyone especially on the last video a lot of people seem to like that that uh, topic and whatnot <coughs> just know like i guess we stay consistent it's just not as consistent as i would like but we stay consistent like there hasn't been too long of a period as uh, like the longest period was like years back and that was like two or three months i think two and a half months something like that then maybe i had like two or three weeks i think it might have been not too long ago something like that but <laughs> Either way, like, at least we're doing something, like, every week. But right now, like, I have the, the mindset we gotta get... We gotta get moving. We gotta get these fucking videos up, bro. We gotta go. We gotta go. And go. Like I said, working some specific things out with my workflow, too, that I won't get into. It's a little, you know, like, complicated and whatnot, but... This motherfucker, 32 fucking half hour fucking smoke said we still gotta do the fucking test, bro. I'm fucking dead. Yeah, you guys gotta get out running, bro. Like, it's cold. My hands are fucking killing me. Normally, I'll have gloves. But otherwise, I'm chilling. I don't know exactly the time. I want to say it's like 29. But, uh... Just been running a lot. And it's been going on. I'm kind of in this recovery week this week and everything. So, come back, I did uh, six miles, over six miles, just under a 10K, on, that was two days ago. So, I mean, uh, I'm planning to run tomorrow and pick back, pick back up because I'm just recovering, body needs it for right now. We're going to do 12 next week, so let's fucking go. Uh, specifically 20 kilometers, so 12 and a half. I'm on a journey, a different journey in that regard with the psychonautics and how that's a sport and that experience. If you'd be interested, I mean, because, like, getting to that, like, stage, like, that's just a different, like, form, you feel, I feel. It's <coughs> like, especially, bro, <coughs> once you get, like, past, like, six, seven miles, I feel like. <coughs> and just, like, you <coughs> get this runner's high going. <coughs> It's something different. <coughs> it's like, man, I put all of these miles behind me, and I'm like, we're still going, like, doing just fine, and everything. like, we're still running, like, let's go. And it's just like, you just do it, and get into this different mindset, and especially after the fact, man. Ooh. After the fact, especially after a long run like that, it's just, you just feel so, the body different, you know. So getting a little nauseous because of it, man. Just been going hard. My biggest thing is I ain't gonna get hurt again. If you guys remember not too long ago. Ain't when that happened. Partially why we're on this recovery week. Listen to the body. Roll out. Stretch out what you need to. Do your yogas. Strengthen what you need to. And uh, don't overtrain. I feel like uh, it can be overtraining. I feel like it's rare for most people because uh, most people listen to their body. The body is screaming like that. Um, I just been doing this shit a long ass times, and especially especially you've been doing this long ass time, or you're just coming back and you were a beast before type shit, and you're like trying to get back into it, and you're just trying to beast out of the fucking gates always. You may run into some problems, is all. But, alright, we're about done with this shit. Yeah, this is dead. And maybe a fucking puff or two, but... We're gonna jump into those tests, though. And we'll be back to report on those and possibly show one or two of them and wrap things up. Alright, alright, we're back real quick. Just because I forgot to... Uh, uh, <laughs> Cooked ass throat, but uh, 
mood, sociability, and the uh, energy. So, mood? I don't know, man. I no, I feel pretty good for the most part. Uh, I would say like super up, but I'm like mellow, but in a good way. You feel like I'm chilled out in a good way. Like feel pretty uh, like relaxed and just like looking forward to doing things. You know, I got a smile. Let's go. So uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's it's going not too bad in terms of energy. Fucking energy, bro. Energy is uh slowing down a little. Uh, to be honest, to where from where I was, especially like in a more physical, mental aspect, I guess fucking that's what I am. <laughs> Makes most of me right. I don't know. Uh, not in a spiritual aspect, I guess. Like my spirit is strong, like but the mental and the physical is more slowed. Yeah, yeah, I like that actually. Then, uh, that's how I feel for the energy. Sociability, I don't necessarily desire it, but I feel like I can handle it a lot better and just like go about it a lot better and be a lot more efficient with just like, I guess how I'm talking and whatnot. So, uh, it's not bad, not bad by, by any means, so. Uh, Pretty good, pretty good. So we'll just leave it at that for the mood, energy, and sociability. So I'll be right back now with the test. Yo, 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 what's good? What do I have, bruh? Who? <sighs> Alright, so just got done doing some uh, lunges right there. But, uh, yeah, uh, we did the physical activity when actually not done, but did a decent amount. Uh, it's going really good. I really feel into it and really feeling like the physical activity is probably the best aspect about this so far. Then there is the uh, fucking word test. Uh, it's going decent. Same with the creativity. I kind of paired them together. Creativity, I was working on a thumbnail. Uh, word test just organizing things specifically for the channel and whatnot getting this video together that I recorded before this actually so uh it's going pretty good but I will say not as good the focus is not as good as it was would be on normal kratom I feel like just like there's a much more recreational quality to this could be because like we dose like could be as strong as six grams then again, like, it's 3 to 6 grams, so, like, in that dosage, I'm looking for, like, a medium dose with this, and just, like, even with that, I feel like there's just a much more recreational side to this, and that may just because <clears throat> it's affecting the mental uh, a lot more heavily than, uh, you know, just your, ad ad just, your <laughs> just your average kratom would. But, uh, because I just feel like my focus is there, but it's also thrown off in a way. Kind of in that recreational opiate quality that I would get sometimes from hydros or oxys. But sometimes those can bring a focus on too, so. It's just more to that side than actual kratom will be. And it could just be, like I said, that potency. And just, uh, not causing too much, uh, nausea by any means, but, uh, yeah, those went pretty well. Then we had the walk test and the music test just now. Fantastic, man. I could do the walk for, honestly, I feel like a few miles if I had the time for it. Uh, we only have so much time tonight, but... Yeah, the walk test was fantastic. We went on automatic and just felt like... We here, we do these things. And especially just getting some sights in, man. There's kind of like that opiate haziness uh, on the vision there. And just kind of just... Especially with the music. Listen to the DMB, I feel like uh, some uh, some kind of uh, lean rap would uh, be some, would be fire right now also. But uh, yeah, the DMB is going hard as well. And also I got some tones inside that I've been uh, listening to at the same time. So, uh, so Fagio tones. and Those are very calming and just has me super relaxed. And so far it's very good. 
we're gonna do one thing of the questionnaire and we're gonna do the rest of the test like I said we most likely will do the one uh, live I would actually just see I will be back and we're gonna do the coordination probably real quick all right all right we're back uh, we're gonna do the questionnaire real quick before we do this sort of test do you feel a drug effect right now? Most definitely. I uh, put it up there, I wouldn't say extremely, but uh, is it present? Most definitely. Um, are you high right now? Most definitely. Pretty much pairs with the, uh, the last question. Not too much by any means, not extremely by any means, but uh, very much so, like, feeling it, feeling it, boys. And number three. Uh, do you dislike any of the effects you're feeling right now? I believe that's it. Uh, pretty much no. There's that focus thing though. So uh, that is something to consider. Uh, especially if there, this was like a higher dose. Do you dislike any of the effects you're feeling right now? Kind of pairs with that. Uh, the like thing. Uh, in that. Did I say uh, dislike for the last question too? Well. Do you like any of the effects you're feeling right now? It's pretty much out there. Uh, I like it not too much, like by any means, but it's enjoyable, most definitely. And number five, would you take more, or would you want more of the drug you took? Not really, like, I could, but I really don't see a big point in it. I consider the appetite, that's the big thing that gets me with this, probably the most is just the appetite and how that can be impacted in a negative light so uh yeah not really plus like I also think of the tolerance aspect of it and also what y'all have told me like that and what others have told me like that so yeah we're gonna chill on uh, any desire for wanting more of this but now let's get into this coordination test I'm gonna set my phone up and try and show it Basically, I flip a stick with two sticks, holding two sticks. So I hold two sticks while flipping a stick over, bro. So, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, you'll just see what I mean. Hopefully you can see if I can get a good shot of it. If not, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully I can get it. I'm pretty sure I can, though. Oh my god, that took way too long. 2025 attempts. Let's go though. Oh, that's actually a good gauge. Maybe like another substance, I'll get it faster. Or another substance, it will take way fucking longer. Who knows? But uh, there is the coordination test uh, first for the channel. Let's go. All right, so here we are with the uh, the puzzle section. I don't have the the best setup, fucking to use my PC with a mic like this, but we're gonna try our best. So uh, there's a ton of puzzles out there. Wasn't sure what to do exactly, so I just chose at random. Uh, anagram. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, what words do these make type thing. And, um, I've never really done these too much, so let's see if we can, uh, figure, uh, at least one, maybe. Fucking bullshit. Alright, this, I feel like... Protection, maybe? Nah, that's an E, right? This shit might be fucking hard, I'm not sure, man. Um, alright, then... 
Uh, bro, I'm kind of stumped with this shit. Oh, uh, let's see. I can do Yale, bro. I'm pretty sure it's Yale, right? <laughs> um, watch it not even be clues. I need a clue, bro. Watch ad? No. No ads, bro. <laughs> Yeah, this shit may be too hard, bro. I'm not sure, bro. This one's calling, of course. This shit's fucking hard. And I did not mean to push that. Alright, let's try... Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got one. Alright. Let's go. That's a dub. Let's see. Yeah, these longer words, I don't know, bro. Dude, we can maybe do the seven, right? Oh. Have. Or nah. Yeah, I don't know. It's like. Draw. Drav, Drava, uh, it's like some uh, fucking, it's probably some, god damn bro, fucking bullshit, yeah, we picked a hard ass puzzle, we got at least one, I'm pretty sure I couldn't even fucking find this shit out on my own if I wasn't on some shit, just cause like this, like, I don't know bro, At least just maybe I gotta write it down. I don't know. I picked some hard ass shit. We can see some answers, bro. <laughs> I need some answers, bro. Please. What is it? Please. I'm not watching your ad. But, um, yeah, I guess that's. We got Yale. We got one out of four. Uh, yeah, let me know what these are, actually, if you guys want to solve them yourselves and tell me, uh, what it is or if it's easy for you or not. But I'm pretty sure this shit is hard as fuck. So, yeah, there is uh, the first puzzle test. Alright, alright. And here we are to close things out. So, uh, yeah, I believe we just had the meditation test, the entertainment test, and uh, the food test. Food test, we just had a few chips. Honestly, uh, I am making some things right now for dinner, but... Don't have a huge appetite like that, like I normally would. So, and I guess the chips, the chips did taste good, but eh, eh. Again, this is a quality with kratom. I'm like, not the best with, uh, not the most appealing thing for me. But it's at the same time, it's like, it's all right. It's not the worst thing as long as we're not nauseous as fuck like that, and I can still eat all right. Then you know, it's solid. Uh, entertainment test watch this youtube video on this uh I'm not gonna say who exactly i guess uh just this college speech and whatnot uh just this motivational stuff and was really into it was really tuned into what they were saying and had a different degree of focus than i did normally so uh, that was actually pretty a one the entertainment test this time around and for the meditation test i have to say this one great very great like i just uh set into it right away and just, just felt kind of really meditated uh way better than the uh the uh, standard kratom by all means uh i don't know if something with this extract uh just set in my mood just straight for it so uh, i didn't feel like i was getting distracted by this and that thing and thinking this and that sure i was thinking of some things but uh I feel like I could easily just set into get into a medit meditative state with no problems with this one. So I have to say, uh, pretty A1. So I believe that is it. Uh, physical activity finished. Uh, went fantastic. Yeah, walk, a new test did. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. So, yeah, we're gonna wrap this up. This is gonna be a long one, I know. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this first installment for the extract, at least. Uh, we're pretty much finishing out this this kratom stuff, these kratom mini series and whatnot, with these extracts. 
uh, there might be like we might do like premium kratom uh, just for the one time we'll see about that though i'm not really too crazy about it it's this extract mixed with uh with normal kratom so it's kind of like a combination thing so but yeah this video went a few different ways too so uh, it should make for a uh, quite an interesting installment thus far on the channel so let me know what you guys thought hope you guys liked it uh make sure to like and subscribe comment it's been someone that's no one and i'll see you guys next time peace out